Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to take a look at installing and using ICC printer profiles on an Epson printer using a Mac. Now before this video, I'm assuming that you have already set up your printer and connected it to the computer. Now the first thing that we need to check is that we're using the correct driver, so we'll go into System Preferences and Printers and Scanners. Now you need to select your printer from this menu on the left today, it's the example Epson printer. And here where it says kind, it will show your driver version. Now it should say your printer model and maybe a version number afterwards. If it doesn't say that, if it says generic driver or air print, then you will need to remove the printer and reinstall it using the correct driver. The reason for this is that the generic drivers do not have all the available options for colour management or for quality, so they're not really suitable for sublimation printing. So you just need to check that you're using the correct driver here. And next what we need to do is download the ICC profile. With your printer you will have received a CD marked ICC, which has all of the profiles on there. If you don't have a disk drive, You'll also have a link to our Google Drive, which has all of the profiles available for download as well. So we'll go into Generic Profiles, Mac, and City Inc. Express Paper. And today we're using the Epson XP342. So we'll download the correct profile there. And once that's downloaded, we shall drag it onto the desktop just for ease of access there. And the next step is to move this profile into a specific folder on your computer. Your computer will only look in this one folder for ICC profiles, so having it on the desktop here isn't really any good to us. So we'll go Go and Computer. Then we need to go into Macintosh HD library, color sync and profiles and in here you'll find all of the profiles on your computer so we'll just drag that into the folder you may see a warning come up saying that it needs your password so we shall type in the password here and click OK And now the profile is in there, ready for use. Next step is to open any program from which you can print. Today I'll use Notes, just because it's simple. And we'll go File, Print. And select our printer from this drop-down menu here. So we're using the example Epson today. And if you can't see all of these options, if your screen looks like this, then you just need to click Show Details at the bottom there. And now we shall go ahead and set up all of the correct options for sublimation printing using that profile. So to start with, we'll go into Colour Matching from this drop-down box and select Colour Sync. And now we have a profile selection available. And we'll click Other Profiles to bring up full list of all the profiles installed on the computer. And the profile we're using today is the XP342 with City Ink sublimation paper. We'll click OK and that's in the box now. Next thing to do is to choose the correct print quality and paper types. So if we go into print settings, we want to be using plain paper and quality quality prints. If you if you choose a photo paper type here sometimes it will put too much ink down on the paper and you'll end up with the ink bleeding out across the page and all of your images will look a little fuzzy so we recommend on Epson printers plain paper type and quality print quality now because we're doing sublimation printing under layout we've also got flip horizontally as an option here which will mirror all of your images so we'll select that so that if we've got any text that we want on our mugs or t-shirts that once it's been pressed that text will then be the correct way round 
Now obviously we don't want to go through and select all of these options every time we come to print so we will save these selections by under presets here which is save current settings as preset and we will save this as City Inc. Express Sublimation and click OK. So now when we select that preset from the drop down menu it will have chosen all the correct options and we can just click cancel now. So next time we come to print for sublimation all we need to do is select our printer from this drop down and our preset from here City Inc. Express Sublimation. So now it's chosen to mirror the image, it's chosen the correct printer profile and it's chosen the correct paper type and quality settings. So that is how you set up and install ICC printer profiles for sublimation printing from a Mac using an Epson printer. Thank you very much.